Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this bitmap, and you can tell it's a bitmap because it's got a square bounding box when you move it around. They want to make a stencil of it. I'm guessing to paint. I haven't heard back yet if it's going to be a sticky type material they're going to lay down. But if it is, this will work. If it's just a piece of vellum or something that you're just going to lay over, it's not going to work. Uh, text works, but you'd have so many tabs joining things that it wouldn't look very good. So first of all, we need to get this into a vector format. So we're going to go to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art. We'll take just a second and it's already done. And in this case, the background color has been removed. We'll prove it. We'll put a green box instead of a yellow box for some reason. And you can see it's all transparent. Now, if you wanted to paint this, you know, well, it's just hard to say. So let's take and go left click, right click, and make it a hairline. All those pieces are going to cut out. So if you cut out the car, um, all these pieces are going to be separated. So what we can do, we can go up to object group and ungroup it. And when we do that, we get the boundary tool. We're going to move the boundary tool out of the way. You know what? We don't really have to do that. Let me think back. So let's take, you've got a piece of sticky plastic or tape. You know, you could just use blue painter's tape and tape down the whole thing. But we don't want particularly this line of the car. So we're going to hit delete and delete it. Whoop, I didn't ungroup it. Or break curve apart. Well, you know what? We are going to need that. Uh, so what we're going to do, let's do this. Let's take the Smart Field tool. I'm just going to use gray. And there's going to be your piece of plastic. Now we can take away this line and group this back together, control G, and move it over there. So the gray will be cut out. And then the individual pieces will be cut. You know, there's a little bit piece of a bumper that we're going to, um, well, that might work. So my suggestion, if, you know, you'd have to put so many tabs um, to keep the windows in there that it's, it's going to, you know, it's not like a font that you can use a stencil. Um, the only part that's going to really be weird is the, front grill and the idea would be to paint all that black but everything's going to just you know the white's going to just fall out of the stencil unless you know if you took if it was a sticky material or even blue painter's tape let's make this uh, 0.75 and then uh, let's make our nudge factor 0.7 and make this blue. Well, let's don't make it blue. And see, it's going to overlap. So you could actually move it down a little bit. So it would deal. Whoop. And then, you know, use your laser. I'm going to just move that down a little bit. Use your laser to cut these lines, okay? Whoop. You know, cut all these hair lines. Uh, it'll actually, let's get, well, so what I'm saying is this is blue tape covering it up. And, well, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's put this to the back of the page. So see that blue line? So then what you would do would be to paint the whole thing black. Let's just do that. 
Um, and let's re disregard the tape right now. Um, we're just going to say we have tape on it. So you're going to take some spray paint and you're going to cut all that and paint it black. We're going to go to object order back a page and then you're going to take the other pieces, you know, a sharp exacto knife. Uh, they actually make some tools for doing that. I can't think of the name, like a weeping tool. But then you're going to peel that off. And what's going to be underneath there is whatever color the, the part is after you pull these off. That's the only way I know that you could do is a stencil on somebody. No, it's going to be a, a pain. But then everything in black is going to be black and everything in white it was previously covered up with the tape and will show through. But you need to make the box, uh, this, you know, whatever it is, uh, so the so you won't get spray paint past the car. So the car, the gray box is acting like a um, stopping it, just like the tape's going to do. And if you put all tape over there, um, Maybe you wouldn't have to do that, but you're going to weep out after you paint it. Um, you know, if you do that away, you just need to make sure that this is a cut line on the outside. So what you do is just move. Well, let me move it back to where it was. If you're going to just use tape, let's set an edge factor on five inches. And we're going to left click, right click, go up to object, break curve apart. And this will, we'll delete the box. That will uh, cut out. So you could just do that with, uh, you know, that might even be the best way. And then paint the, you know, paint the whole area. Let's use a light blue. And then go to object, order, back a page. And see, I've already got white in there, but you would just peel off uh, these places. And well, let's, I'll tell you what let's do. Um, let's make the car black again. If I'm just saying they're gonna paint it black. And then you would just peel off these other places and result would be the white. I don't know if I'm making any sense or not. To me, it makes sense, but I'm not 100% sure. And what's good about this, you'll still have that uh, decal. Matter of fact, you could make a stencil of this and, you know, this part so you could get all these little uh, fins in the grill. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.